I'm Danielle. I'm Celeste. We are the co-founders of the Somatica Institute of Sex and Relationship Coaching. The Somatica Method is an experiential method that's both practical and vulnerably connected, and we help people have the most profoundly sexy and intimate relationships possible. We create a relationship lab in the room when clients are able to practice with the practitioner different aspects around relationship and sexuality, from emotional connection, uh, visiting the inner child, and developing sexual skills. Oh. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Mm-hmm. Good. Make yourself feel comfortable. All settled here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we had a few minutes on before that that we got to talk a little bit, and I wonder if you have some thoughts afterwards that you want to bring here today or something that came after that. Yeah, I feel like I, I do this thing where I'll like go and try to date and it all just ends very miserably. And so then I take a lot of space for just me time. Mm. And it's just, yeah, it's it's the same way of feeling like that waveness of being too much and then like trying to accommodate and over accommodate all the time. Yeah. And and, and also just other people not showing up or, or feeling... Um, like a lot of un, like not feeling worthy, yeah. um, so I've just been like creating a lot of space and distance from like friends and like potential partners and current partners just to try to work on that so that I'm coming from a, a place that's feeling secure for me. So, yeah. Ah, <sighs> you're saying that, and I was thinking about the call. Mm-hmm. And I was just seeing how you were trying to accommodate to me and my needs <laughs> in the call, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I really do want to support you in like finding yourself in, because it's really hard. I'm imagining it's really hard when you're like, constantly trying to accommodate to others. There's a little bit like a loss of self, right? Mm-hmm. Like, where's Jenny? Yeah. Yeah. I notice I do that a lot, Yeah, you know, like not. And what that does is it, it, it kind of undermines other people's ability to take care of their own needs and their own boundaries. But I always like, I came from a place of not even knowing I was deserving of boundaries. So I'm just like, I just want you to know if you have them to say them. And a lot of, especially men, like they're, I feel they're better at it perhaps just in my experience. Um, but they're very good at <laughs> saying their boundaries. And I'm always so shocked because for so long, I didn't even think that I could have them. Mm-hmm. So I was just so surprised. So now I'm just, I feel over accommodating and making sure that everyone is always saying what their needs are. Um, and then where, where are you? Yeah, I'm just like, I, f- I, I, this is the box I've put myself in lately. I'm mm-hmm. a wave. So you just let me know where I'm allowed to be. And that's where I'll go. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and when you talk about the wave, it means mm-hmm. more like, I just want to explain what it is a little mm-hmm. bit. It means more like uh, someone who feel anxious mm-hmm. in con- in attachment, in mm-hmm. connection with others. It feels kind of anxious and worry and wants connection a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got excited when I said that. <laughs> like, can we can like we all just sit for a second? <laughs> because you start out trying to make yourself what you're mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. That's really hard. Yeah. It's really hard mm-hmm. to make yourself what you're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Trying to put yourself in a mm-hmm. box and trying yeah. to, you tell me where to go mm-hmm. because otherwise I just want to go everywhere I mm-hmm. want to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so I want to celebrate your <laughs> waviness and mm-hmm. your like you know, desire for mm-hmm. connection. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes people that have this desire for connection are being shamed mm-hmm. for, oh, you're just, you're just needy or mm-hmm. you want too much, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. I just want us to celebrate. Yes, we all have needs. Mm. And some people have needs that they want their, they want their needs to be soothed or they want their emotional processing mm-hmm. to be soothed in connection. Mm. And culturally, we're being told like, oh, you need to figure it out all by yourself, mm-hmm. you know? And it's just one way that people do that. It's not better mm-hmm. than figuring out things in connection. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, and I think a lot of it for me is, it, it, I don't know if it's necessarily like anything that I need other than just I love people and I want to be around you as much as you'll let me. <laughs> so it's like they're not really getting anything besides it's just like I'm so delighted by people's presence. Uh -huh. So like, I don't know, and just wanting more of that, but also understanding that it's hard here in the Bay Area. Like people have a lot of things that they have to do just to survive. Uh -huh. And I internalize things a lot that there's something wrong with me. And that's why people aren't wanting to connect when I think people just have so much going on. Um, so it's easy to forget that it's okay to be a wave. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. generally mm -hmm. people who are more like want more connection mm -hmm. and really want a lot of it are mm -hmm. being very judged mm -hmm. in that way. Yeah. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah. So what I was thinking is maybe in our session we'll go beyond just be around. You know, I just want to go with you beyond this idea that you have. I just want to be around you and everything you give, every bone mm -hmm. you throw at me, mm -hmm. I'll be so happy. Mm -hmm. I wanted to actually start to find out what you want mm -hmm. and not only just be happy with whatever people throw at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when... Yeah, you got when, scared a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you noticed that. I was like... It's like, what just happened? Yeah. yeah, because, like, I, I do know what I'm, I want. I'm mm -hmm. aware of it, but I know that that's not going to be met, like, by, that, by those people, by like certain individuals. People, yeah. Maybe you need a village. Right. You know, maybe one individual cannot meet everything that you mm -hmm. want. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I think that's probably, probably the true. case for sure. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But by the end of the day, if you're constantly tiptoeing and trying to get, oh, <clears throat> maybe you'll throw me a bone. Mm. Maybe you'll give me something. You are never fulfilled and you're always mm. hungry and you're always going around, you know, with this little mm. bit of panic mode inside. Mm. You know, like constantly trying to shrink mm -hmm. yourself and make yourself mm -hmm. small and like, okay, I'll just take this thing that you offer me yeah. and you never get to get mm -hmm. to have what you really want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I want to spoil you today. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be amazing. <laughs> I hope, you know, yeah. if not, I'm going to call other people to join me. And oh out. my God. <laughs> That's allowed. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I think if you are constantly, you know, like censoring yourself, mm -hmm. you're never getting to this place of fulfillment. Mm. And then people around you also always feeling that they're failing you. Mm. You know, it has impact on others mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, like when I'm not fully myself, it's I'm not really being able to be authentic with everyone else exactly. as well. It's beautiful. Yeah, and then like people don't even know mm -hmm. who's Jenny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why it's much harder to stick in relationship to stick mm -hmm. if they don't know what they're sticking with, mm -hmm. right? So I want it to be choosy and I want it to be precise and I want it to be like, I want all of this. And in the beginning, it's like a hungry person mm -hmm. getting the meal, a meal, right? They, can't, they, don't, know, they don't even know what to start choosing, right? <laughs> I want this, I want this, I want this, give me everything, right? <laughs> they get excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to start there, mm -hmm. yeah? So if you could get the most amazing connection mm -hmm. meal on the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I already know. <laughs> you already know. I'm yeah. glad that you know. That's awesome. Tell me. It'd be like everyone in the world, all the people in the world, a giant cuddle puddle, all the plants and all the animals. <laughs> It's like, it I have this little. like really deep desire for like unity, like mm -hmm. as many people as possible, like just laying on top of each other. <laughs> uh -huh. And where are you in the picture? I don't know, amongst everyone else, you uh -huh. know, enjoying myself and like seeing other people enjoying themselves and seeing like myself and everyone else enjoying being in connection and not having to worry about anything else besides just being in connection and feeling that like oxytocin overload of just like profound acceptance and love. Mm -hmm. That's like my, my ideal. <laughs> my, my, your, your ideal world. Ideal world is like everyone's cuddling. <laughs> 
a cuddle chain around the world. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. There's mm -hmm. a secret wire. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is cuddling together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. We'll have such a better world. Yeah, I think <laughs> so. World by Jenny. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. <sighs> So I want to bring us like to the here and now. Mm -hmm. I love your vision. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to I want to bring you also to the here and now. Mm -hmm. You know. And I think because of the hunger that you haven't been allowing yourself to get mm -hmm. or to ask for what you want. Mm -hmm. I think you haven't been allowing yourself to even ask for what you want. Is this true? I it's very strange because sometimes I will but other times I am accommodating it just depends on like who I'm with but a lot of the times it's more so me accommodating than mm -hmm. asking for what I want and what I need mm. yeah I would yeah. say that's like more so the case mm -hmm. so I want us to, I want us to experiment a little bit with mm -hmm. finding what you want mm -hmm. in the moment mm -hmm. Just now, mm -hmm. right. without thinking that's the last time ever that they can ask for it. Mm -hmm. okay? like mm -hmm. Just the beginning of asking and asking and asking. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just take a moment and really connect with yourself. Mm what I'm feeling mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would love like to fill this couch with as many people as possible and like all of us just cuddling together right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and since it's just the two of us mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. what in our space between us you and me well closing this gap would yeah, feel good yeah. starting great. there would feel yeah. good great so mm -hmm. tell me how. how how do you envision it well I guess I would like to sit here, uh -huh. and then maybe if do you yeah, we just got of, closer. Do you want to get yeah. closer? Yeah. Do you want to just like lean into me? Yeah, it maybe. Feels right. Yeah, maybe lean into you. No, no, take mm -hmm. them, check, check, mm -hmm. check. Don't rush. I'm here, <laughs> not going. Yeah. And I get it why you want mm -hmm. a whole group because mm -hmm. maybe one of them will hit exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Interesting. Just in case, mm -hmm. you know, if someone misses, or at least someone mm -hmm. would. I want it to be mm -hmm. be precise. Mm -hmm and see what do you really exa exactly want for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like I want as much of my body touching someone else's body as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. So we're going to try to do some physics here and <laughs> see how much. <laughs> so do you think like lying down and me, do you want, want me to be the, be the big spoon? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Take time. Think about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just imagine it for a second. Yeah, I think lying down would be the best way to get most skin on skin contact. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you want me to be the big spoon mm -hmm. person who hugs you and holds and try to cover I, as much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. That Good. sounds really nice. Good. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. Heads there? Head here. Good. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to make myself, I'm, I'm shorter than you, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> I was like, because you're so tiny, I'm so tall. <laughs> I have some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This good? Yeah. Yeah, legs on yeah, top. Yeah, like the twisting yeah. is nice. <laughs> Mm, I wanted to let yourself settle in it. And see if something needs adjustment. I think maybe if I turn towards you, uh -huh. I would enjoy that. Yes, I mm -hmm. wanted to enjoy it <laughs> so much. Yeah, that's been nice. And I wanted to really yeah. find mm -hmm. the location that feels mm -hmm. the most 
powerful for mm -hmm. you to have either eye contact mm -hmm. or body contact mm -hmm. or yeah I like this you this like nice this to, huh? yeah it's nice to look into your eyes mm. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting. At first I noticed that it's like, I was noticing my, well, at first you helped me to notice that I was rushing through things. You're like, you can take a second to figure it out. And I was just like, wow. And then even you suggesting, like, take a minute here and see if something else would feel better. Like, I, I didn't even... I just rush through things so much of the time, not just in intimacy, but in all parts of my life. Yeah. So it's, it's nice for you to give me permission to slow down. <laughs> yeah, I think what happens with permission is that you actually get to see what you really want as mm -hmm. opposed to what you think you want. Mm -hmm. And many times what we want is, can be different than what we think we want. Mm -hmm. And if you just go on the fuel of think I want, you're actually never satisfied. Mm. Because you never hit the mm. right, right, right spot. So I want you to take your time. Mm. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, take the time to tune in and yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Take the time to tune in and see mm -hmm. what feels right. Because what you are looking for is nourishment. What mm -hmm. you're looking is like something to feed. Mm. You want to be seen in some way, mm -hmm. right? You want people around you to see you and love you and mm. enjoy you. And, mm -hmm. and you're so delightful <laughs> and so easy to love and enjoy. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Even when you don't squeeze yourself, you know, like, mm -hmm. and make yourself small, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think by making myself small, I'm not, I'm not being my um, like most authentic version of myself, which is not as, I'm not as magnetic, if that makes sense. So it's like, yeah, it's like I'm tiptoeing around things and people can sense that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's even playing against me too, of people wanting to connect if I'm like already making myself small. Totally. It so. is it's, it is a detractor of attraction, but mm -hmm. it's also a detractor of nourishment because mm -hmm. you're never getting what you want. Mm -hmm. Maybe a sliver of you thinks they're getting what they want, mm -hmm. but not mm -hmm. all of you. Mm -hmm. I just like don't know. I haven't mastered how to manage disappointment when it comes to like intimate connections that aren't that aren't being satiated. Mm -hmm. See what's happening? Do you notice what's happening now? No. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> What's happening is here an opportunity mm -hmm. for nourishment and getting mm -hmm. what you want. Mm -hmm. But it's so hard for you to settle in it. You're already thinking, what are you, what's next? What are you missing out? What's next? What's next? <laughs> what are the other options? Right. And it's so like, we don't know. Yeah. What, what? Maybe that will be a lot. Maybe that will be very nourishing. Mm. So with like the panic <laughs> mode, the fear of not getting enough yes. kind of makes you a bigger wave <laughs> than you might actually so be. True. <laughs> I'm so grateful that you pointed that out. <laughs> Maybe there's no disappointment It's so hard to, to manage. be mindful of it. <laughs> yeah. And, and there might be disappointment in life, right? There might be disappointment mm -hmm. as we are getting out of this, you might feel mm -hmm. disappointed or whatever mm -hmm. it is, but mm -hmm. we don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah? My gosh. Because you don't let yourself feel in the moment. Mm -hmm. So if you were to really live the moment mm -hmm. just now, just this. Mm -hmm. I need to really see if something is nourishing or not. Mm -hmm. Maybe something you want to change. Mm -hmm. I'm just so grateful you keep on pulling me back. <laughs> I was like, wow, I got away again. <laughs> <laughs> just it's the hunger, mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. It's the hunger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. 
It's sad because the hunger makes you miss out on the moments that you mm. can get nourished. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think as I become better at mindfulness, it, I tune in more now that now more than ever. I'm just thinking of like previous me, so I'm I'm grateful for this experience. We're just I'm now here. Again. We're not yeah. gonna think of previous <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So maybe I'll help you find an anchor to enjoy what is mm -hmm. in the moment because I'm noticing that now that you're in it, you don't even know what's there to enjoy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Possible? Yeah, I, I, it's strange to see me in my head so much more than I thought I was. Mm. Mm. But it feels nice to breathe with you. Yeah, that's one thing to tune into. Bingo, you got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we can pay attention to our bellies, mm -hmm. breathing together. Yeah, here you are, settling <laughs> and calming down a little bit, yeah. It's easier to give you like that, you know? Because mm -hmm. it's almost like an impulse the minute you settle in the moment mm -hmm. I want to <laughs> touch you and take care of you. It's interesting to experience like surrendering to the present moment, like what that really feels like limbically, and it's really nice. <laughs> hmm. What are you noticing? I like when you open your eyes. Like <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> mm, it just feels really nice. I don't know where my need for analyzing things comes from. I don't know, maybe our culture, but... Protection. Yeah, yeah. It feels nice to just, like, let it go for a second. <laughs> just yeah. be here with you. Yeah. Do you notice how you're ready to move on already? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, like, excited to see what... <laughs> What breathing with uh, breathing with eye contact would feel like for with with us. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm curious, and we are doing it. So, so what are you excited? Tell me, what are you excited to see about that? Well, because before when we were breathing together, my eyes were closed, and so I'm curious what it feels like when they're open. Mm hmm. Is it easier or harder? Is it better? It's, it feels really beautiful yeah. in a different way. Mm -hmm. But it's like, mm -hmm. um, who's to say which cookie's better? They're both great cookies. <laughs> I like to choose favorite cookies. And you don't need to. That's the point. You don't need mm -hmm. to choose favorite mm -hmm. cookies. Yeah. Is there like a place that you feel that you are settling or you feel like you're ready to move to the next thing? I feel like I'm settling. I feel like I'm curious. Mm. Like I'm not trying to go anywhere or do anything, mm. but just sort of experimenting in this space. Good. 
So without getting out of this space, I want to check with you, what do you feel are you taking from our session today? Mm. I think so much more awareness around how I don't tune into the present moment, even though I know it's what I need to do, but I never really slow down enough to do it. Mm. And I think that you were like really like lovingly accountable with bringing me back, which I'm really grateful for. Mm -hmm. And then I got to have like an Olympic experience of surrendering to the present moment. Um, yeah, and also just celebrating my like deep love for people and mm -hmm. that's nothing that I should feel shame myself about like yeah. it's beautiful yeah it is so yeah <laughs> and you're beautiful too thank you <laughs> hmm. thank you thank you mm -hmm. give me a good hug <laughs> mm, you can stay here for a few moments afterwards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're really <laughs> relaxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a whole different experience now that you're relaxing. Mm -hmm. feels really nice to be attuned to like so uh, diligently <laughs> it feels nice because you're noticing a lot of things that I don't even realize I'm doing mm -hmm. so I love that feedback mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> He's so cute <laughs> and kissable. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's I'll help you up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> untangle. Wow, you look so much calmer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel more embodied as well. More embodied and calm. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, just intentionally breathing, especially with another person really helps to ner like calm the nervous system. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to notice how you took it from the personal experience to mm. like a theory. Mm. And when you do that, I feel like you're missing out mm. on the moment. Mm. Because what happened, happened between Danielle and Jenny. Mm -hmm. We don't care about building theory now. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wonder where Because the minute you do it, from. you kind of remove yourself from mm -hmm. the experience mm -hmm. as if you weren't in yeah. it. That's so interesting. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We had like a connection yes. experience between yes. us. If you took it to somewhere else, mm -hmm. you almost like took the plate of food yes. away from whatever. You <laughs> it's so crazy. I'm so happy that you you're noticing that about me and i did it multiple times right multiple, it's correct <laughs> it's a little bit like a pattern yeah 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 and i just think if you could sit and say mm -hmm. to yourself like wow jenny i just had like an amazing mm -hmm. oh not amazing or whatever a five mm -hmm. minute nurturing mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. what does it feel like to actually take it in
feels great. <laughs> do, do you notice a shift in, inside you when oh, you yeah. actually take it in as opposed to talk about like the next project yeah. or let's all breathe deeper and connect with people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel the difference? Yeah, giving myself space to be in it. Yeah. Sort of rushing towards something yeah. else. Like really digesting yeah. it well. Digesting it limbically instead of trying to bring it like into my brain. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so glad you're telling me this. <laughs> It's been really a pleasure to connect with you. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you, husband. Thank you. <laughs> Can I come over there? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. So you, grateful sweetheart. for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, love. Thank you. Mm. Hi, Jenny. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah? Yeah. I noticed um, there were just so many moments in there where it seemed like you were getting kind of a big aha moment. Mm -hmm. um, what, are, what do you feel like you learned? Well, I learned that it's actually quite hard for me to be like present in the moment and embodied. Mm -hmm. um, it's like there's this biasness, I'm forgetting which one it is, but it's like when you think you know a lot about something and then you reach a peak and then there's like a huge downfall and then that little peak is called Idiot Mountain. And I feel like I, I thought for so long, I'm so good at mindfulness and I've been practicing it for so long. I'm so good at managing my anxiety and just like having someone attuning to me so well is making me realize like actually you need to slow down and really take the nourishment of this experience instead of rushing through to the next thing. Mm. Um, and so I'm just so grateful to have had that experience so I can see what it feels like limbically to really surrender to the present mm. moment and not try to pull things up into my head and analyze and figure yeah. things out um, and theorize things, you know? So I just feel so grateful that she was able to tune to me and pull me in back into the present experience. Yeah, it sounds like there was a big shift for you from going to your head, like, into your body in the present moment. Yeah. That was really powerful. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like giving me permission to settle in and like take the nourishment from connection with people mm -hmm. instead of thinking about like what's next or, or then or after, like that very anxious yeah. way of thinking and feeling. How do you imagine taking that out into the world when you leave? Like how do you, how do you take what happened here and use it to be more in your body? Yeah, well definitely like anchoring to the breath with people that I'm with, that I am wanting nourishment from. Um, and just now that I have the awareness around how much I do that, <laughs> I think awareness is such a beautiful gift that just allows us to choose something different. Just hear Danielle's voice in your head saying, take a breath. <laughs> yeah, I know, just like anchoring to the breath, focusing yeah. on parts of the body, so. Well, it's funny, even as you said that, I, it gave like me permission to take a breath and I felt mm. more connected to you. That's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> We had a little moment. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. Anything else about your experience um, with Danielle that you want to to share? Man, it was just beautiful. It was so like it was really nourishing, but it did take a minute for me to settle into things mm -hmm. and for her to like kind of lovingly push and poke me into the right place <laughs> um, mm -hmm. by tuning to me so well, like and just having me notice the things that I was doing that was keeping me from actually connecting with her and being in that moment with her. Yeah. So, and then once I finally got there, like the affirmation of, oh yeah, now you're settling and see how when you settle, I want to give you the things. And <laughs> <laughs> it was so beautiful to hear you go from this like worldwide cuddle puddle to like being able to be completely nourished mm -hmm. with just one person. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so beautiful to watch. Mm. Thank you, were, you. You were so with her, you know. Yeah. 
I was really trying to slow her down. <laughs> Jenny was on the, on the fast train in life, you know, and I felt like she was missing out, actually, of something that she wants the most. And I was really trying to slow her down all the time. It was without shaming her for yeah. being on the fast train real, you know, giving her a lot of permission. It's a delicate balance to do those two things. Yeah, I thought it was, I felt like it came so much from your commitment to her that I think she could tell that you weren't shaming her at all. Yeah. I think she could tell she's like, oh, Danielle really wants me to get this thing for myself. Yeah. And so every time she <laughs> redirects me back to myself, it was like I could tell she was appreciating it and not feeling, because you weren't saying she was doing anything wrong. You were no. just saying, look how much more you can get. Yes. <laughs> if you're I, was, here. I was in a commitment for her own sake, you know, for her own, like I want her to get as much as she actually wants. And I was also greedy for me. Of course. I wanted to get more of Jenny, yeah. you know, and when totally. she was like, like twirling in all kinds of directions, trying to get much from the idea world instead of like whatever's like right here is food, take it. It's so hard, you know, yeah. I mean, like I can relate to Jenny also because I, I don't go into the analytical mind, but like I was getting some nourishment while you were having your session and there's always this feeling of like, was that too much? You know, like, and it's like, even because I'm always questioning, like, when should I get out of it? When should I get out of it? I don't take it in. So I was like practicing yeah. along with you. <laughs> like, it's okay. Take a moment. Yes. Hey, I can receive this. And as soon as I do and I stop planning, I can just feel it spread mm. in my body and I could feel it spread in her body. Yeah, yeah. it did. It was really mm. beautiful. To, to watch that, and I was thinking about you because I know how you can identify with Jenny. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's great. I also loved this, uh, the, I loved it when Jenny noticed the difference between the idea of nourishment as opposed to actually getting nourishment, which is, you know, like the, if I meditate, that will make my experience different, but you actually can be outside of your body even when you are doing something good or considered good. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> and then you don't really get the, the nutrients. Yeah. yeah, there were some similarities between her and Sabrina's session. What did you feel like the differences were? Yeah, I, I do think there were lots of similarities between the sessions between Sabrina and Jenny, and I think like it's important if, that we distinguish a little bit between them. I feel like the session with Jenny was really also very focused on attachment and really getting nourishment through this kind of, um, you know, like letting herself be this wave mm -hmm. and settle and take it in. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel that with Sabrina, it was also a lot about like, uh, if I, I can actually, she, she needed to be spoiled. Yeah, like, <laughs> like decadent. decadent. Yeah, she found her queen, right? <laughs> she found her queen, yeah. 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 That's so nice. It was so nice. Both of them were very much about attunement and being very much in, like, giving them space to open up and get into themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Take what they really want. Yeah. Nice. And permission. Permission. To really take what they really want. Yeah. Awesome. Great. I'm trying to be someone. Trying to be someone I love. Trying to be someone I love.